Uh, let's talk about Twitter real quick. And, and there are lots and lots of plugins. You got WP to Twitter, all kinds of different Twitter plugins that you can use for integration. To be perfectly honest with you, I've had problems with all of them at some point or another. And so the way that I have chosen to do Twitter now is I actually go to FeedBurner. And I use FeedBurner for a lot of things, um, you know, for my podcast, um, for my general RSS feed. I just like some of the options that it gives. Um, but what we're going to do here, and I'll actually show you just from the beginning even how to set up uh, your feed in FeedBurner. And so let's go here. We'll copy the URL. Um, and it, that's what it says right here is burn a feed this instant. So if you put your URL right there and then you hit next, and obviously you just have to be signed into a Google account. That's all you need for feed burner. So it says let's burn a feed for you. So you can do your feed title and it will give you a URL and we'll just do how to blog feed. Let's hit next. Okay. So this is our feed. And... So what we can do, we can open it up, and it'll show you the feed, and it has this tons of different, of different formatting things that you can do here uh, with FeedBurner, which is why I like it. This is obviously just a you know nice generic feed because I mean all we have are test posts in there. Uh, um, so let's go to next, and you can do these. I always like to have click-throughs on. Yeah, I mean they're going to do all this stuff for free, so you might as well opt into it. But what we want to talk about is how you do it with Twitter. Well, they have some just absolutely great and easy um, ways to integrate with social media um, and, and especially with podcasts. Um, but if, we click, if you click on the Publicize tab and then you click here on Socialize, what it's going to do is it's just going to say Add a Twitter account. Okay? So if we just click Add and then you want to be logged in. So I'm already logged in to my Twitter account, How to Blog Webinar. So make sure that you're logged in before you go to FeedBurner. And then once you are logged in, you click on this, and it's going to say Allow Google Access. So allow it access to your Twitter account. It will redirect you back to the application. So here we go. And now we have that account in. And now we can just put our options. So what do we want to post? We want to post the title, the title in the body, the title only. This is Twitter. You know, we don't exactly have a whole lot of space. So I just like to do the title. Obviously, you want to include the link. I always like to leave room for retweets because, hey, if you're tweeting something, um, you might as well make it easy for people to retweet it and help promote you even further. If there are any hashtags um, that you want to add, you know, you can you can do this. And it'll actually create a hashtag from the categories, um, or you can just tell it not to create any hashtags either way. And then once again, you have text that you can add. So let's say that you want to let people know that this is a new post to separate it from the other items in your feed. You can say new post and you can put it at the beginning. Let's say that you don't want to add hashtags from categories, but you do want to add a hashtag at the end. So, you know, your hashtag is just, you know, whatever you want it to be. You know, your hashtag is my site. You can put that at the end of the post. So either way, you know, typically on pretty much all sites that I use this on, I like to put a new post um, just up here at the beginning just so people know, you know, it kind of conditions people to know when they see it pop up in your feed hey, that's what this is. You know, it separates it from your normal tweets. And I always like to do that because, as we know, you know, in the maelstrom of tweets that come on a daily basis, you know, it's easy for things to get lost and get overlooked. Um, so I like to, you know, do little things to signal to the people who follow me on Twitter that, hey, you know, that's what this is. Um, so we're going to put that in there. And then we can do the item limit. So, you know, and this, you know, only if you have a very, very high... Uh, content, just tons of content all the time. Is this, you know, necessarily a big deal? Um, so you can set those options up, and then this is what you're going to get. And it's just going to go in here, and it's going to post just like this: new post, test. And then you're going to get this URL, uh, which is the Google URL shortener. It's nice and easy, um, and you are good to go. So we have this set up now, almost, because now we just have to say active or inactive. And so there we go. We activate it. And we are good to go.